Hello, I'm Mike Harris, a forester with Can Forest Southern Pine, a lumber manufacturer. Forests provide us with over 5,000 products, some of which we use every day. In this video, we will be talking about lumber and the process in which it is made. Lumber is used to build the houses we live and play in, furniture, your Ford or Playhouse, and more. The lumber making process begins in the forest. Loggers look for the perfect trees that match the qualifications for the specific product being made. For lumber, we don't want a tree too thin or too large or too curved. Loggers are in charge of operating with some really big equipment to harvest trees and load them onto trucks. Truckers are important in this process because they transport the logs to the mills. At a lumber mill, the logs that arrived are debarked and then measured with a scanner before getting cut by saws. The bark from this process is collected to be turned into mulch for your garden or to be used as fuel at the mill. These cut pieces are then sawed again into different lengths and the edges trimmed to squares. These are the typical pieces of lumber that you see at the store every day. The sawdust and smaller pieces of wood that are removed from the logs are collected and can be used to power the furnace at the mill or sent to other mills to be turned into another product from wood. Nothing is wasted at the sawmill. After cutting and edging these pieces, they go to a kill which is like a really big oven that reaches up to 200 degrees. Trees contain a lot of water and water causes lumber to rot or bend, so it is important to dry out the wood before being used. After the drying process, the lumber gets one last trim and plane before being sent to the store so people like you and I can buy them. Can you find an example of lumber in your home or school, like a wooden bookcase or a bench? There are so many things we can make using our goods from the woods. For more information, check out our website, ncforestry.org.